Hello and welcome to the Wiltshire Caravans video handover for this 2021 Bailey Alicanto Grand Sintra. Um, for those of you, so I am trying to do this panoramic, so if you get a finger in the way of the lens, I do apologise. Um, as usual, I'll start around the back uh, just to go tell everyone what's going on. So we've got your light clusters, so uh, indicators, brake lights, fog lights, reversing lights. Also a high line brake light up there. Area for your number plate. Obviously lights it light that up. Reflectors and your corner steadies down at the bottom. Okay. Grab handles here. However, the, the, these are a big old lump if we try to move them. Now I have unlocked some uh, of the uh, storage lockers, etc., for ease of use on the video. Um, so we'll start here on the offside. So toilet someone very kindly put drain before towing do not overfill well certainly right um, so this is where the pink flush goes in um, quite difficult to get in there. I use a, an old pot two litre pot bottle put the re recommended amount of pink and dilute it um, I'll show you where to drain that down <coughs> let's talk about draining down and there it is there's the pipe there so this pipe here Literally just open that bung there and that will drain everything out from the reservoir. So standard Thetford uh, cassette in order to empty you'll find out it, you'll need you know when it needs emptying because there's a light that comes on in the toilet area. But pull that out, pull it straight out. This is the uh, cap that has to come off here. I'm not going to take it off now, but that come off, put that somewhere safe. You don't want that falling into the receptacle where you're about to tip everything. Then lean the cassette forward, press on that button there to release any air pressure. Um, you'll want to rinse out, so open this slide here. Open there, and that's inside. So you can see the float there, that's how it would tell you um, how the, the cartridge says it's full but make sure you close that up, slide that back. Okay, so on, on the lid itself, on the cap, there are some uh, measurement parts on there so you can put the required amount of blue or green in there uh, and dilute to whatever it says on your the manufacturer's instructions. That goes in there slides back in this handle clips in this handle is telescopic it does come out so you can actually carry away your uh, waste to the waste area okay okay so window to the bedroom almost as like as a side view then there are the waste outlets these are for the uh, sinks so bathroom and kitchen as well as the uh, shower single axle uh, although an eight foot wide van, single axle, this one has got a, um, a motor mover on it, an auto motor mover. There's a separate video for that. Um, wheel nut torques, etc. I'll talk about that in a little while when we get to the uh, to that part of the video. Gas locker here. You can take um, it can take two six kilo gas bottles in there. Um, well, I might as well open it while there. I do know there's a, a hose pipe in there at the moment. But, uh, so that's the, the gas locket set up for propane. The Alde heating in here, so it's the wet central heating. But if you're using gas, that is the exhaust port for if you're using gas for your hot water and your um, heating. This is the water inlet. So standard whale. I'll just grab the hose. Very simply, the hose goes in there and bring that down to close it. Right, so that's your pipe in and this end goes into your water button. Very simple, good to use. Sorry, I normally have someone holding the camera but uh, they're, not, they're not, not in today so apologies uh, for the slap dash video right so come around to the front it's got the 
traditional Bailey large front window and the two windows at the side. Uh, you'll notice there's no gas locker at the front, as I've shown you, it's at the side. Got the grab handles, runs on the Alco chassis. And it's got the Alco ATC, so that's the Alco trailer control. Uh, a couple of sensors underneath that if the uh, caravan starts to move about at all, it would, uh, it, in an unnatural way, it will dab the brakes on. You'll probably feel it more if you go over a, um, a speed hump. Uh, the, the caravan will feel heavy for a little while. Okay, so onto the near side. Um, external gas barbecue point. Uh, a locker. I do know this one is full up with stuff. This is full with uh, all sorts of things. Uh, hitch lock stuff. Waste pipes. Oh my god, it's, it's everything in there. <laughs> so, so yes, you can put plenty in. So... Here we've got the uh, details of the uh, of the, the model, the maximum plated weight, which is just under 1600 kilos, massive running order. The tire pressure, 60 psi, might seem high, but that's about right for a single axle of this size. And the wheel bolt torque, as I was talking about, is 130 newton meters. Okay. So obviously we've got the, the door. Now the main door is a, it's a stable door. Got an awning light up there. Uh, vents for the fridge and freezer. This is your electric input. Goes in there, so that's where your hookup is. Next to that, you've got an electric out as well, so you can put that into your awning. Also got a, an aerial point, so your awning could be a, have electric in it. And then underneath, another external locker that just goes straight under the bed. At the moment, it's got the carpets and an awning, etc., in there at this point. But externally, there's not a lot else to show you. You can just about see the, uh, the antenna on the roof. Uh, but now to show you the internals. Okay, so going inside the Sintra. Um, you know, I said it was about it being eight foot wide. You can see where that difference is. It is uh, really nicely proportioned. Uh, unlike the camera holder, that's why I'm trying to avoid mirrors. But you can see, with just a quick sweep round, it's a very spacious, uh, spacious caravan, particularly for a single axle. Now this is a 2021 model, as I said. Um, yeah, so as you would expect, beautiful condition. But yeah, just a quick look around, and then we'll get to the nitty gritty of how it all works. Which is, as you come into the caravan on your right hand side, there's your power, pa well, your control panel. So, power switch on there. I've just turned the master off, turn it back on, master is on. Okay, so showing the time, go through, you could go through settings, and to select the settings, just press on that. So, you can change the display, put the sound, any notifications firmware save and exit so exit that's what we want to do at the moment so then further down you've got the internal temperature as it is at the moment and the leisure voltage you've got available to you 13.6 doesn't surprise me because we are plugged into the mains okay so next one that's the water pump so when you've got your water pump plugged in and in your echo roll press the water pump it says pump on and pump running but I've turned it off because we've got no water connected at the moment. Very simple with the lights. Lights off, all lights on. That's your choices. Okay. And this one is for your awning light. So awning light off or awning light on. Very straightforward. These are just a couple of light switches. Uh, this side of things are nice and easy, straightforward. As we are in the UK, we're always very interested in our heating uh, and hot water. Here we've got the Alde heating system. Okay, so power on. We'll go through a little uh, screen uh, message. So that's so just telling me it's going to be it's warming up in here at the moment. We are plugged into electric. This is what the temperature is at the moment: seventeen point five. Go to menu, and that's to show what that show you where we are where we can change everything. So the top one is for the temperature. So 
You can change it by pressing plus or minus. It is a touch screen system, very simple to use. Uh, and being the wet central heating system, it's, it's pretty much bulletproof. Okay, you can go into settings and set a nighttime mode. So you can change the temperature for whatever times you want to change it. Set, 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 then press the off and it goes to on. Then go back by using the arrow and you'll see there's an A. That means there's an activated function. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. Yeah, there's an activated function. If you want to know what they are, press on them and it'll show you what it is. And then simply just turn it back to off. And then when we get to the front screen, that activated function is now gone. Okay. So temperature, you can set, like I say, you can set nighttime settings, all you can do, just press it down, okay? The next one down, water temperature, okay? Options here, so if that little triangle is empty, the water's off. Sorry about the finger in the way. If you press on the plus, it'll go to halfway. That will give you water, hot water, 90, for 95% of the time you need it. Uh, if you need anything boosted, you can do so and boost a full power on the water heating. However, that will take away all the power on the system from the heating. So the water will get hotter quicker, but the caravan heating will go off. So my recommendation is halfway. Again, next one down is the power, the amount of electricity you're using. Options are off, so you're not using electric, in which case you could then use gas. So if you're off grid, that might be handy. However, if you're on uh, a site, one kilowatt, well, to be fair, yes, it'll heat up, but so slowly you wouldn't really, really notice it. Two kilowatt is adequate um, most of the time, more than enough, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I never changed it from on mine. Uh, I never needed, felt the need to go on to three kilowatt. But a lot of the poles uh, electric poles where you go uh, might only be 10 amps so if you go on to three kilowatts immediately you're going to pop the pole and so i would say two kilowatts is more than adequate however as i said you can go up to three kilowatts if it is available to you okay so that is my recommendation of temperature and hot water again it's subjective and everyone might be different However, if you need to change anything or look at anything, you, there's lots of these different things in. You've got, a, you can have a daytime mode rather like the night mode. Priority, so you can prioritize electricity or gas. Um, oh, display. So if the display is a bit too bright at night, you can turn down the brightness. You can, should you wish to do so, invert or dark. So in a minute, when this uh, I probably won't do it now I've said that that the, the screen will go completely dark so at night time that won't shine into you when you know shine at you when you're in the bedtime and typically it's taken a while to do that but it will go dark okay so that is the Alde heating system um, like I say very simple to use at once well I say that once you know what you're doing um, you'll get used to it and it's, it's it's a really very very good system runs on glycol and uh, water the reservoir for that is coming this way into a bedroom cupboard there you can see that that's the heating uh, reservoir and that is pretty much all you need to know the, the glycol needs changing every uh, within five years now this is only a 2021 van so it shouldn't need doing will be checked every time you have a service so that side of things will help you out oh coming back to the alde heating panel and there it is you can see it's now blacked out until you press menu and then it come back up again okay i do need to show you something under here where the water heater is and more importantly the drain down valve okay so bear with me while i rearrange some cushions Right, as if by magic, the cushions have disappeared and we can now see underneath the sofa area. So this is the water heater, the Alde water heater. What I'm trying to show you is that yellow tap there. Right, that yellow tap is your drain down valve. In that position, in a horizontal position, that will allow water into the caravan. 
uh, when you want to drain the system, so drain the hot water tank and the taps, that would then need to be put, oh, he says, try not to fall onto the, if I could reach it, into the vertical position. That will now just drain everything out. Make sure when you do that, you open your taps as well. Uh, all of the taps, so all the water drains out. But thank you, Bailey, for putting that in such an awkward place. Appreciate it. Okay. I mean, some people do drain down their system just for traveling. Some people just do it for winter, but I would say definitely do it for winter. All right, let me just put all the cushions back. Again, as if by magic, everything's come back. Right, okay, so kitchen area. Showing you the heating. Underneath there, we've just got a couple of light switches. Can't really see them do much in here at the moment. Um, it's one of those, it doesn't look much in daytime when it's nice and sunny outside, but during uh, at night, this will be lit up like uh, Blackpool Illuminations. So mixer tap, sink, round sink, um, plenty of cupboard space in, in there, in here. So you've got also, there's your isolator for your microwave, uh, a rack for your plates. There is the microwave. I'm trying to avoid, I'm just trying to avoid sticking the number on there as well. Mind you, that is the Wiltshire Caravan's number. So yes, you're more than welcome to phone us on there. Um, so the cooker, it's got, I do like this part, this bit, obviously extra worktop when you're not using the cooker, that lifts up and clips out the way. Then you've got your gla glass hood for the cooker, that has to be obviously up for cooking. Uh, then you've got elect one electric hob and three gas burners. Now the gas burners will not work when the cooker hood is down. However, the electric, it's a case of don't twiddle with that while the glass is down, okay? Because uh, it could, could shatter, cause major problems. So cooker wise, uh, it's gas, gas apart from that electric hob. There's your spark and that works for the grill and the oven. Uh, so full size grill, full size oven. Just, yeah, very, very useful, very handy, the Thetford cooker. Pretty much industry standard, really good. But that comes down, and again, that's just giving you extra workspace. Drawer space there, cupboard underneath. In this cupboard, you can see under here, there are four gas isolators uh, for, for, the, for the hot water, uh, heating, cooking, fridge all of it there i mean if you're using the propane you can just turn it off at the bottle and to, to you know pretty much guarantee that you're gonna keep it safe just fire up a burner when you're when you've closed the tap to burn off any excess um gas isolator there so that plug there that is for the uh um electric hob so if you are worried about turning that on you can unplug that and you would have no problems at all. Okay. Fridge freezer. So it's the Dometic fridge freezer. Separate freezer and fridge now. Nice little bonus about these. They can open from either side. Really like that. Sorry about the uh, reflection. Okay. So nice size fridge freezer. Power on. Press the button down. And keep it pressed down until it tells you not to. So there's the little Dometic sign, currently on electric, press once and you can change it, press it there, it goes auto, electric, so if we put it on auto, that, you know, as soon as you get onto, um, onto your pitch plus plug in it'll go. You can have it on the leisure battery, not leisure battery, I tell a lie, I can't believe I said that. Right, so that, with the battery is your... Um, from the alternator on your car uh, at that point as long as the fridge is cold already that will maintain the temperature it will not cool it down from start okay so use the twiddle again down using the twist knob uh, you can choose gas electric and then that's back okay 
one fridge freezer. Really nice. Again, storage space. This has got a solar panel, so which is you know always helpful to have. Also, whilst we're showing around the out inside, uh, standard antenna. Twist that until you get to. Uh, this, uh, you can lift the you know, lift the shaft, then turn it around to the same direction as everyone else has got theirs, then retune your TV. And there's your. Uh, um, I don't know what you would call that, the booster, okay. JVC radio and CD player by the look of it, and as well, well Bluetooth, DAB, oh they've gone to town, yeah. Um, so, good system. Then table space at the front, there is a, a standalone table as well. Plenty of cupboard space. Wardrobes, pretty standard for a, uh, a caravan. There's a, a, a screen here, the a privacy screen. Obviously, you've got cabinets above the bed. I mean, the bed here at the moment, that's uh, retracted in. So, the, the beauty of being an eight foot wide van is that when we do take the, the bed right out, which I should do now. So that would be as far as it comes out. You can still walk around it quite comfortably. So that is a really nice, uh, nice feature about it. Bathroom, first, <coughs> pretty standard really. So toilet, <coughs> the set for toilet, as I said, that's where the light comes on. If the cassette is full, pretty much guarantee that will be just before you go to bed. Okay, so a sink uh, and mixer tap, obviously a shower, shower area, nice size. Um, the shower screen is held in place during um, transit with this clip, towel rails, etc. This door, whilst it's a nice sliding door, when again, when in transit, this clip here holds that in place. Whilst I didn't say anything, under the bed, got a freestanding table, the carpets are in there, um, the, the fuse box and everything is in there. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here at the moment that needs sorting out, cleaning, you know, just to organise clearly. Um, pretty standard. Uh, the window catches are all standard. You've got blackout blinds, fly screens. Again, standard all the way through. Um, up and down. Uh, and in the skylights as well. Um, obviously, if you ha anyone has any questions about this, you can give us a call on 01373 752 100. That's 01373 752 100. 100 will answer any questions you have um, but I hope you enjoy the video if you do enjoy the video please like and subscribe to our channel and then you'll have the unfortunate pleasure of seeing more of my videos as I do them all right thanks for watching bye bye